Do you hate the factory strap as much as I do? Well, you should definitely consider the Peak Design Leash. This is an ultra small strap with a quick adjust system. When you purchase one of these straps, it comes with two anchors, which conveniently clip right onto the strap. And it comes with a bottom anchor for those people that like to hang the cameras by their sides. I've misplaced my anchor, but just for reference, this is it right here. And it comes with this hex key. And the reason why you want to use this hex key, it says right there, use for a secure connection. It does not have a slot at the bottom for a coin or screwdriver, but instead it's a hex bolt. And the reason for that is because this hex key will provide a much more secure connection. The last thing you would want is the bottom plate to get loosened over time and your camera to fall on the floor. Okay, if you don't know by now, Peak Design is known for their quick adjustments. This is how fast it is to adjust your strap. This thing can hold up to 200 pounds, so it's very heavy duty. It's a slick strap, meaning that there is no rubber. So this thing moves freely, very freely. So what that means is that you really don't need a sling because this thing is just so slick. However, the downside is that it's also very thin. So don't expect to carry a lot of weight with this. If you're having a mirrorless system with a small lens like this, then it works great if you're using a bigger lens let's say a 2.8 zoom it starts to get a little bit big uh, if you're using a really large 2.8 zoom then i would not suggest this type of strap likely move on to the slide or slide light one thing to note are these adjustments right here they are made of some sort of anodized aluminum. If you're having concerns that it might scratch your camera in the bag, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. I've never had it happen to me. Another piece of detail that we should look at are these anchors. You have to press down on it and pull up to remove it. So accidental removal is impossible with these, I feel. Not very possible because you have to press and it has to slide the opposite direction of gravity. So for that to happen, it's not very possible to have this accidentally unleash on you. So prior to owning the Peak, I had one of these for my DSLRs and this is an Optex strap. It uses this different type of buckle system, which does a good job as well. However, I was always a little bit nervous about this type of strap system because if you're working with gravity and say you bump into this, one side gets loose and then later on the day you bump into the other side and there you go you're disconnected your camera is on the floor so optech recommends that you use a safety velcro but if you're using the safety velcro it's really cumbersome i don't use it personally so to get that little bit of an extra quality i switched to the peak design system instead but i just wanted to mention that if you are looking for a lower price alternative this optex system is arguably more comfortable because it's a different design it has a neoprene strap and this thing is actually it's very lightweight the only thing is that it's not very small if you pack this up you see that it's kind of big you're not going to be able to fit this into your skinny jeans. But if you have the Peak Design strap, take a look here. This thing is very thin. It's like a seat belt type of material, packs very, very small. And you will, you will be able to fit these into your sexy skinny jeans. Yes. So that's the great thing about the Peak Design strap is that it's very small and if you have a Peak Design bag, you have these small pockets, this thing can comfortably go with you. So the strap with two lugs and the bottom plate retails for $40 and I believe I paid $40 for it. It's a little bit on the high side compared to the Optech which is only $20 but you're paying that extra because everything is just a little bit better made. These straps I hear these lugs right here are tiny. They are round. They're not gonna poke you. They're extremely sturdy. 
and get what you pay for. Hope you enjoyed the review. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other links on this channel for more gear, tips, tricks, and reviews. See you in the next video.